Hey guys, Captain Paladin, Captain Paladin LP here. Welcome to the next episode of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we about just completed the last leg of Don Ghost Cavern. And we got some bombs, bomb bag that we can carry some bombs. In this episode, we're going to finish this cavern by going through here. We open the ca chasm into Don Ghost's mouth here. And we are going to finish this for sure. Bats. Bullseye. Ah ha ha. You missed. You missed. Down here looks like we got a switch. And it's a blue switch. Blue switches are usually the ones that you have to put something to hold on. Put something on top of it, rather. So now you know why I don't have my DQ shield out here. Because <laughs> it's always going to be a pain in the rear. So we're going to go to the right here. And we're going to take a left turn here at Albuquerque. You know. Ah, shoot. Didn't react in time. Come on. Stop being a pain in the butt. Where did the guy go? Oh, there it is. Let's do a long range shot. Oh, man, I missed. There we go. We don't need an L target now, don't we? Oh, three hearts. Unfortunately, I can't get over there in time, maybe. 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 Oh, we got one heart. Hey, one is one. Um, actually, we're going to need to get on this one. And pull this one right over here. Because we're going to need that other one. I go ahead and go up here. Uh, no, don't come. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Get back. There you go. Get back to where you once belong. Okay, I don't sing. I know. I'm sorry. I shouldn't sing. All right. We got that bombable wall there. So let's go ahead. Uh, we'll see if that does it. And, of course, it does not. Just back down. And we have to go through here. I don't think there's anything in here. I really don't want to reset all the fire keys, but, you know, since I'm 100%ing the game, we might as well do it. Uh, any, no bomb flowers in here. That figures. We're just going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Not the... Ha! <laughs> yeah, right on me. Alright. There we go. That was a rather bizarre situation I was just in, but... Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Alright, let's go in here again. Ah, damn it, I missed. I'd much rather I had killed them off because I don't want to do it. Deal with them. They are a pain in the ass if you do not deal with them promptly. So, now we have to go do this again. Uh, annoying. But we gotta do it. Put some muscle into it. Alright. Alright. Go back up here. We push this off to the side. And I don't know if we actually... Yeah, we actually do need that thing. Oh, man. Let's pull this out. I think we're going to go ahead and just edit some episodes tonight. I'm going to bed. i got a long day tomorrow. After all the snow, we, we only got about maybe an inch of snow over here in Wisconsin. And we're due for another possible blizzard. I don't know. I do ask my fellow viewers to kind of watch where they're going. <laughs> Concerning this thing. Because if... Especially of all the stories I've heard about um, Southerners, they can't handle the snow, which is pretty true. 
Because if anywhere in the southern states you get snow, there's people driving like it's, um, let's put it to you this way, uh, very bad showing at the Indy 500, so to speak. Let's go ahead and drink this up, because there's a fairy in one of these two, I think. So yeah, I mean, Southerners, I don't, nothing against Southerners, but you know, guys don't know how to drive in snow. I mean, I'm sorry. I mean, all the st stories I've heard, you know, I worked at a hotel one time, and... Yeah, I heard this one one guest stayed there that was from Kentucky, and this guy said that, you know, driving on a freeway, there was people, like, just sliding everywhere, going about 60 miles an hour. I mean, it was just a bad sh show of a NASCAR <laughs> and such. And I'm like, okay, whatever. But seriously, I mean, any southern state, you might as well just shut the state down if you're going to snow. I mean, I remember this one... Oh god, don't have to deal with bats again. Oh man. Well, now I'm time to make like Tom Sawyer and let's see, make like Johnny Appleseed more or less. And man, it's gonna come after me. Oh good, got it before he got to me. Oh, that's great. Now we gotta get this. But yeah, um, it was 1993 in March. It was March of 1993. Uh, it was the blizzard of the century, more or less. Well, it was called the storm of the century because the entire western North Carolina, the whole mountain region, was just buried in two feet of snow. I was it two feet or one foot? I don't remember. But that week, I was probably in, I don't know, 11, not even, maybe 10. Yeah, I was probably, you know, I was 10 years old at the time. So we pushed the block onto that, and you get the door open on this side. So this is the boss door, more so to speak. But yeah, I mean, we were out of school for a whole week just because of the snow. And, and, uh, and it was the week after probably of that. We had, like, temperatures in the 50s. And, for those of you who are in my international viewers, you might want to convert that from Fahrenheit to Celsius, of course. Let's get off from this, because that's going to blow a hole in the ground. And, gee, I wonder where we're going to. I have a bad feeling that we are about to stumble into something that might require bombs. But, yeah, I mean, snow and the south don't mix very well. I mean, they really need to invest some of their infrastructure dedicated towards quote-unquote snow removal because they're getting it more and more often down there in the southern states. So, as we get go ahead and get those bombs, there's nowhere else to go but to go down. Uh-oh. This is not... Good. Oh. No. Zoics. Ah. This is about the biggest that you've ever seen. The Dondagos. Oh. Whoa. Pardon me. Take a bomb when he does that. And it'll blow up. And take your sword and just slash it. And I only got one that time. Oh, crap. Mom. Oh, they, don't tell him. Oh, if he miss, he will blow like that. So get off to the side if you can't get it. This is pretty much a cheat. Get off to the side if you can't. King Don to go. Get a shot and finish off with your sword. Are you getting your butt over here? Come on. Quit stalling. Probably knows I'm over here and can't retreat. Come on. Yeah, enjoy your dinner. And do your. <laughs> you have to be quick. Oh, okay, yeah, stop doing that. And come on. Don't be difficult. And 
he swallows it. Pull out your sword. Get your over there. And you only get one. You only get one hit. I mean, I swear that is so unfair. Come on. Oh, slow. That was poor timing. Really bad timing. Alright. No wonder, are you related to Dongo or the Korons? I got a close. Hello! Well, I like how he misses you as you go, as he is about to die. He just completely misses you. It's almost like he. He could be in trouble and he just misses you like that. Oh. So bizarre. Well, that's the end of him. The Goron's better be happy. <laughs> that's all I gotta say. The Goron's better be happy. And he just stays like that for a while. Another piece of heart added to the collection. Your life for force will be totally filled. And we're up to six hearts. So, let's go. Alright. I think it was nighttime before. Oh, well. Holy cow. Well, look who's here. It's me, Denaria. Well done. Ouch! You bastard, why did you do that? I love you too, but sheesh. Thanks to you, we can once again eat delicious rocks from the Dondago's cavern. Until our stomachs burst. What a wild adventure. It was make an incredible story. I can't believe that the Dondago's suddenly appeared in such large numbers. And that big rock block in the cave? All this trouble must have been caused by that Gerudo thief, Ganondorf. He said, give me that spiritual storm, only then I will open the cave for you. Blackmail. You, on the other hand, risked your life for us. Kid, I like you. How about you and I become sworn brothers? Well, since the king couldn't do it. Yeah. No, there's no big ceremony involved. Just take this token of our friendship. the Gorons Ruby, the spiritual storm, stone of fire passed by, down by the Gorons. You don't know what he means by Swarm Brothers, but you have collected two spiritual stones. You have one more to find. Brother, you keep brushing up on your skills as you travel, won't you? You should go see that great fairy on top of Death Mountain. She will power you up. Hey, everybody, let's see off our brother. Oh boy, I'm surrounded. You did great. How about a big Goron hug? <laughs> yeah. That's definitely a Macaulay Culkin scream right there. <laughs> All right. Oh, and that's great. That's great. That's terrific. They say that a fairy that lives on top of Death Mountain. If you want to make it on top, you better take a big shield with you. That's what I have. Well, let's just keep it on. Let's just keep it on. There's something I want to do in Goron City right quick. It won't take much time. Oh, roly, roly. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Impact. Woo! <laughs> 
Not now, Nabby. You are incredible at destroying the Donagos. Do you mind if I call you Big Brother? Yes. A fairy lives on top of Death Mountain, didn't he? Yes. Yes, he did. We'll go up there. Not yet. We've got one more place we want to go before we go there. A potential heart piece is at stake. I want to get this before we go up. Actually, a potential heart piece. You are incredible destroying the Donagos. Do you mind if I call you Big Brother? Uh, I guess so. Just don't do... Don't give me any hugs, please. You probably kill me. Did you get the redstone? Let me get one little lick. No. I'll screw ya. Alright, we can go that way. I really don't want to go there quite yet. Let's just go here. Because there's one guy I want to pester. It's this little big rolling guy here. I'm gonna stop him in his tracks. By pulling out a bomb and throwing it. <laughs> Sucker! Why did you stop me? Don't stop me here! You can't... Oh, gosh. I can't stop... Oh, for crying out loud. No, what he said was and I did, accidentally went through the di uh, dialogue. I'm supposed to st stop him here. So, I have to do it again. So, I gotta be ready. Fire in the hole! Oh, shoot, 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 Now, will you talk to me? All right, all right, I'll give you this in praise of your courage. You got the big bomb bag, now you can carry more bombs up to a maximum of 30. Yes, sir, all right, now. We go over here. There's a one spot we have not been to yet. And you might want to get up here just to be safe and sorry. Just let him pass and hopefully he won't hurt you. Go away. Oh, come on! Oh, gee, many crickets. Well, fine. Have it your way. I'll do this instead. You take one of your bombs, throw it. Alright, I am not Kobe Bryant. I get that now. Well, I'm really doing great. I'll get it right one of these times. Okay. Alright. I'm supposed to do it from this spot. You're not supposed to spin where he's happy. If you don't, then you're not gonna get... Ah, shoot! Well, he's giving me more chances, so I guess I better take him. So I don't have to pay for more. No, don't worry. Alright, we'll see what happens here. Oh, there we go. That's the one. Yeah, and 25 rupees. There you go. That's how you do it. And you get our next heart piece. We got three pieces. Alright. Terrific. Now. You know what? I can come back here anytime to get those secrets. I want to go ahead and finish this episode. By going to the Great Fairy. So, let's just go ahead. 
And you know what? I'm gonna meet you at the path towards the, um... Yeah, I'll meet you towards the path. So, I will see you in just a little bit. Alright, we're back here. We're running up the path here. And we got some rocks we gotta blow to pieces. I'll take two there. Get out of the way. Before I'm hurt. Got some rupees. And this is one you're just gonna have to time. Well, didn't work that time. Oh well. There we go. That's the way to do it. Moo. What in the hell is that mooing? Oh my gosh. Duck and cover. I guess we could take a peek. Just a cow in here. What the hell? Well, there's you can play Epina's song and you can get another bottle of milk by playing Epina's song. So let's just you go ahead and go back. I can do that another time if I need to. We don't need really need anything at this point. We already got a fairy and two helpings of milk, and now we're approaching the volcano. There's nothing we can do about these eruptions. I mean, they're just nothing. Nothing we can do. Just let's kind of just roll forward to get ahead. Keep going ahead. Ah, crap. ah, crap. Well, we made it past that. Once you reach this area, it'll stop erupting. But yeah, I get past these it's skull wall tallest. You definitely will need some bullets here. But I'm so glad I finished that shooting gallery. My gosh, that was just awful. Well, now I have the rupees again for it. So one, let's do oh, full power again. And let's get this one up here. We're not in the way. And once we get up here. Oh, look who it is. Jimmy Durante. How you doing, guy? No, it's Kipor Gibora. Let's throw this over here. And let's go visit the fairy. Let's get an ocarina out. The first fairy here. And <laughs> the link is like, oh my god. With boobs like that, yeah, I would say, oh my god, yeah. Welcome, Paladin. I am the Great Fairy of Power. I'm going to grant you a sword technique. Receive it now. Uh, what is she doing to me? I can't believe she's trying to something on me. Oh no. You master the secret sword technique of spin attack. Hold down B to charge your weapon. Release B to unleash a wave of energy with your spin. If you want to release energy without charging your weapon, just rotate the stick once plus B for a very effective quick spin. When you charge power from a spin attack, magic power will be consumed. Pay attention to your green magic meter. Hey boy, you're a messenger of the royal family, aren't you? Next time you're in their neighborhood, you should drop by and see a friend of mine who lives by Hyrule Castle. She'll surely grant you another pop new power. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. I don't know if I will, but thanks for the offer anyway. Oh my 
gosh. Those boobs are so out of style. <laughs> N64 graphics, that's all I gotta say. Before we talk to Jimmy Durante over there, well, let's go into here. This is Death Mountain Crater. We can't stay in here for very long. Paladin, it's so hot in here, we can't stay in here for very long. I don't plan on being here for very long. He gives you the time now. I just came here for this. Gold's Coltula, you prove that you destroyed it. Basically, the time there is um, based on how many hearts you have. So, if you don't have many hearts, it's the less the time. The more hearts you have, the more time you can survive without, you know, a means of protection. But, we have no real business here, so let's just go ahead and get out of here. We have no reason to stay there. And there's that cookie aisle. Okay. I am going to come back during night time. So let's go ahead. And we're just going to do one more thing once we go back to Kakariko Village. So let's make it night. I have the power of the sun and moon. Well, it looks like you've grown up a little from the great fairy's power. I judge. But you still don't look like a real hero who will save Hyrule. At least not yet. Well, thanks a lot. If you're going back down the mountain, I can lend you a wing. Come here and grab my talents and hold on tight. A judge. Oh, man. Yes, go ahead. Give me the transportation. They go and down there where we once were. Was that Navi who was still up there? <laughs> I wonder if that was still Navi. Get your ass back here. Oh man. Alright. I don't know if there's a scold scultula here. Probably not until when you oh man, I guess not. Oh wow. Well. Probably over there. Oh. Oh, uh, well. I thought there was a Golden Skull Tola, because that's why it came here at night. But, oh, that's, there's the moon. It's still pretty early in night time. So. Alright. We can probably... We, there's actually something I need to do before we go anywhere. Um, hmm. Is this... Will this... Alright, we gotta drop down from here. Oh. And go in here. And you, here's this cow and a heart piece. And guess what, folks? We're up to seven heart containers. Woohoo! All right, now we're making progress. But I think we are going to end this episode quite soon. I think because there's really nothing we more we can do. I could probably go back to cat. Yeah. Probably go to Castle Town next time. Sell that, give back that mask. Sorry, I'm just thinking out loud, folks. Yes, I'm actually planning on what I'm doing on next here. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and end this episode. So, the next time in Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, first of all, do I have any of those? I only have 16. Shoot. Well, I can't get the next. Okay. So, the next time in Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. We will go to the marketplace one more time and see what we can do. Probably go there, use a sun song, and see what we can do there at night as well. Because there's a few things we probably we can get there. Um, also, we'll probably go into the next phase of the game. So, take care, everyone. This is Captain Paladin LP signing out. Take care of yourselves, folks. Good night.